Greetings, YouTube. Have you ever felt like God was against you? Like you just couldn't catch a break and that maybe it was a sign from a higher power to walk away from something you've been committed to? Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a hobby. Well, recently I have featured some really amazing luck on Crystal Opening Commentaries where people have submitted videos that I didn't know how good they were going to be that just had stupid God tier luck. We're talking like three five stars, three God tier champs, or three six stars, two out of three just insane pools. But I keep saying like that's not realistic. That is not what the average summoner sees when they play this game. And you got to know that for every uh, Namor or Blade or Ghost, you're going to get like a thousand Thor Jane Fosters. So Black Jack 77 and a huge shout out to the MDR Alliance. I believe I'm reading that correct. Just decided that after weeks, if not even a month of saving, he would record a six-star crystal and a five-star crystal back-to-back. -back. This would really make his day. You know how it is to, to save up crystal shards and look forward to that crystal opening. Maybe you've had a hard day outside the game, and this is supposed to give you something to be comforted by. Well, we're going to watch this video because it starts with, believe it or not, a six-star crystal. And... This is definitely what I would have opened second if I were him, but, you know, it's his account. And he is looking, of course, for one of the best six-star champions in the game. And he is hopeful to get him. And they're in the real. There's Aegon. There's Luke Cage. There's Aegon again. And he lands on Howard the Duck, a champion that even though I enjoy playing with, mainly because of the special two, and he's just looks kind of a quirky chip, this guy does not want at all. He is not a fan of Howard the Duck. He said, Howard, the something I can't say on my channel. So he's like, maybe this is a sign that I should walk away from the game. He's about to rage quit, but he opens his five-star, hoping it'll save him. And look at that. What are the odds that he would pull the same cursed champ in back-to-back -back crystals? What are the odds? 1%? Less than 1%? I don't know, but he said that he is taking at least a month off of the game. He rage quitted after this, and he wanted to use this as an example of what is realistically going to happen when you put all of your hope and your time and your emotional investment into opening crystals. I don't know. I, I, I featured over a year ago, I think now, a guy who got three straight Civil Warriors out of featured five-star crystals, and that was really painful to, to commentate. But I get, especially with how long it takes for the average summoner to save up six-star shards, how defeating it is. And there are so many trash six-stars or average six-stars or just people that are like, you know, they're okay, but they're not going to ever be champions in the current state of the game that you would think about using three tier five basic to take up to rank two and certainly not beyond that. So, yeah, I, I get the pain. I get the torture. And Blackjack, you went for 21 and you got broke, literally. Uh, so, MDR, you guys seem like a great alliance. Shout out to you all. And uh, Blackjack77, thank you for passing this along to give us a reminder of what realistically happens when this game forces you to rage quit. Uh, I think most of us can say we've been there. Certainly I have. And this is just a reminder of that unfortunate feeling. Have a good day, YouTube. Blackjack, I hope you have a better day as well.